I've made some inquiries into the Imperial Court. The sooner we deal with the threat to the Empress, the better. The political situation in the Empire is dangerously unstable. It will complicate matters. Everything in the Empire complicates matters. It's the Orlesian national pastime. Turn your nose up at the grand game if you like, Commander. But we play for the highest stakes, and to the death. The Court's disapproval can be as great a threat as the Venatori. We must be vigilant to avert disaster. Exactly what do you mean? How is it more dangerous than usual? The Empress is in the middle of a civil war. Her cousin, Grand Duke Gaspard, seeks to take her throne by force. Leliana reports that a group of elves has been sabotaging both armies, drawing out the hostilities. Orle holds Tevinter at bay. All of Tedas could be lost if the Empire falls to Corypheus. Selene is holding peace talks under the auspices of a grand masquerade. Every power in Orle will be there. It's the perfect place for an assassin to hide. We need to attend this ball. We don't have enough sway with the court to arrange an invitation. Perhaps a few more alliances. Or soldiers. We need a greater presence in Orle. And soon. Have you met this friend of Barracks, Inquisitor? Not yet, no. It had better not be who I think it is. I will wring that little bastard's neck. Why? Who do you think it is? Someone Varric claimed he could not contact. Someone the Inquisition, indeed all of Thedas, desperately needed. I'll reserve judgment until I know for certain. No need to have that rogue screaming persecution yet again. I have some more questions. Why am I not surprised? I'll let you get back to work. Inquisitor, huh? Well. You've got the fortress for it. Speaking of which, when you've got a second, there's something I want to show you. What did you want me to come see? Here, come on. I'll show you. Why am I dressed like this? You'll see. Come on. It'll be worth your time, I promise. Evening. Iron Bull. My merc band just joined up. Tanner. I'm from Jader. Well, near Jader. Mira. I was guard captain for Lady Pendel. Signed on after shit blew up at the Conclave. Share a drink? Who's your friend? This is Grim. She doesn't talk much. Huh. So, you ready to kill some demons? Or Venatori? Or whatever that Corypheus asshole is? This isn't just about killing. We're helping the Inquisitor save the world and build the next empire. Hmm. Well, long as I get paid, I'm happy. That's why I signed up. I just couldn't spend my whole life on a farm. Needed to live a little, you know. What about you, Mira? Why'd you join up? I thought you were serving some noble. I saw what happened at Haven. The Inquisitor staring down that monster and his archdemon. I don't think the chant of light as much as I should. But you can't see something like that and not believe. Well, Grim and I should find our tents. Thanks for the drink.
I know every soldier under my command. You don't have that option, but a few faces might help. It was good to get their perspective. Yeah. Sounds like we could use an easy win for boys like Tanner. And vets like Mira have seen enough to be wary. You've got a good army coming along. Remember that. No matter what comes next. Scout Harding. Your worship. What's been going on? Seeker Cassandra came through here, looking like a storm cloud. That's just her face, though, isn't it? Shouldn't you be out there, scouting? In a bit. We're in Skyhold for supplies and a change of personnel. Not me, though. Indispensable. <laughs> so, who's Scout Harding, really? Me? Oh, I'm no one. Lived near Redcliffe all my life. Herded sheep for my neighbor. When the Inquisition came through my village, I helped by telling them everything I knew about the area. Then I signed on. Wanted to see the world before it was swallowed up by... that... thing out there. What's been going on? Ambassador Montillier sent me a basket of flowers to thank me for my work with the Inquisition. She's so lovely. Take care. Going well, I hope? I have to go. So, this is Skyhold. Come, let's walk the ramparts. I want to examine our fortifications. We'll be able to see Corypheus coming from miles away. He's not going to get the better of us again. We lost good soldiers that day, loyal men and women. And when he came after you, he really made it personal. I swear I'll take that twisted bastard down, even if I have to die to do it. I'm grateful for your support. It's my job, isn't it? Killing Darkspawn? Look, in spite of it all, there is hope. The people flock to your banner. They believe in you. Tell me honestly, are you what they say you are? Andraste's chosen. There is so little I remember. What if they're right? Does it even matter? Don't you see what you are to them? Without you, they'd be consumed by despair. We all would. They need you to be Andraste's messenger. It gives them hope. The truth doesn't matter. Ah, uh, listen to me talk. Your time is valuable and I've wasted enough of it. Majestic. How is a place like this ever lost? Thank you for Haven. Less so for Redcliffe, but I am committed to serve your worship. What a fascinating life you lead, my dear. First you fall out of the Fade, then you're attacked by an archdemon. If you wanted more public attention, you could have just held a ball. I'll talk to Josephine. Maybe we can get matching gowns before the next attack. I've got a tailor in Val Royor who can work miracles, my dear. But not those sort of miracles. You left yourself vulnerable to attack. It was a miscalculation, one that I'm sure you won't repeat. But the enemy struck a serious blow against you and the Inquisition. We must recognize that. You must. I'm not going to forgive what happened at Haven. Corypheus will answer for what he's done. You're angry, good. Anger can save you when everything else is gone. Just make sure you put it to good use. Our enemy advances, Inquisitor. We must not sit idly by. 
Act first and teach them to fear us. You can become the leader the faithful require, but you must do it soon.